there on the scramble. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Taking it in. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance in this one. Oh, there's a nice move by Robinson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. They'll run on first down. It's Robinson. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. And this one into the hands of D.J. Shark. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 40. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Buying time to his left. Good footwork at the 30. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 22-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run the counter. Robinson. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Dancing to his left. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Sliding out of the pocket. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off in. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Jacksonville, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for Seattle, the struggles intensify as they drop to two and six now on the year. And they'll take this loss into the bye as he'll be back in action in week 10.
Okay, so now I'd like to welcome Carter Landry to the show. And dedicated listeners of my podcast know I- I've been a big fan of Carter's since your college days. And, you know, I can't believe how time flies, but you're a veteran now on your fourth NFL team. So tell me, Carter, what's life been like as a Jaguar? Oh, it's been great so far, man. But I really think the chemistry this group has is something special. Well, and and that says a lot coming from someone like you who has obviously been a part of some different locker rooms. Heck, I mean, you've been around several future Hall of Famers. So tell me, who set the tone on your team to start the year? Me, no doubt about it. I walked into that locker room and everyone just looked at me and said, yeah, man, that's the guy. He leads, we follow. (laughs) Yes, very humble answer, Carter. Enough about me, let's talk about me, right? Nah, for real, though. It's just a really good mix of vets and young guys, and everyone has a common goal. And the coaching staff has a really good grasp of what everyone brings to the table. Well, and it sounds like a great fit for you, Carter. And you know, look, we go way back. Dude, I am thrilled for you. Now, before the show, I asked my listeners to come up with some questions for you, and we got some great submissions. I gotta be honest, this traveling across the country thing is taking its toll on me, but I know you're doing the same thing, but at least you get home games. I'm heading to the airport soon, but just wanted to let you know that Zoe and I are lining up a couple of different endorsement opportunities for you. When I get back in town, we'll talk. I'll let you know when I land, though. See ya!